and uh, welcome back today we're looking at the animation tab before we start I want you to go to new and select your templates now I've chose education you can choose any templates you want so I'm going to open up this one here and select create just use this as a demo so we can work off it right now we just go up to the top and select animations tab now I'm going to show you the basics how to use this and again it's not difficult so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click into the title, and I'm just going to leave that as title layout. When I click into it, at the top, the animation option highlights, which means I can now choose what I want. So I could do a split, and it will show you in split, or I could do a shape, and it shows you it coming up in shape. But what I'm going to do is random bars, for example. Now I might want to change how that comes up, random bars. So if I come to the right and select effect options, I can choose where I want it to come vertically, or horizontally. But if I click the little arrow here, it bring up more. So I've got entrance transitions, emphasis, and exit transition. So obviously you've got your entrance ones coming in, and your exit ones and ones you'll be using within your slides as your emphasis. So I'm going to choose fill color, and there we go. You can see it's filling the color. Now in fact, I don't like that one. I'm going to do font color. There you go. That's better and you can see the font colour changing. Now if I come to the right I can select effect options now and I can change the font colour I want. So I might want a red and you can see now it turns to red. So always go to your effect options when you select one animation on the left here and you've got your effect options here on the right. So then we'll go to slide 2 and I'm going to really liven this up a bit. I'm going to click into the title option I'm going to come up to it and I'm going to do a flying. Let's have a look how that comes in. That's okay. What about a floating? That's a bit better. Now again, if I come to Effect Options, I can choose whether to float up or float down. So you've got that option to choose that. So I want to add more animation to this slide than just the one. Well, that's not a problem either. See, it numbers it 1. That's my first animation. If I come up to the top here and select Add Animation, I might want to add another one in there. So I've had a flying one. I've had my first sort of entrance option. Now I want an emphasis. So I might want a colour pulse. And there you go. So if I click preview top left and a colour pulse, but I want them more organised than that. So I'm going to come up where it says here, it says reorder animation. So I'm going to come up the top and select animation pane. And this brings this little window open to the right. Now I'm going to hold the left button and drag that a bit so you can see what's going on. This is how you organise your animation in each slide. And these are like your time bars when they start and when they stop. So my first one. So you can see if I come to the top it's going to start on click but I might want that to start after previous slide straight away so I'm going to have that set up to start automatically now I'm going to go to my second animation which is my emphasis one now I can choose the duration there which is half a second and I can choose on click I don't again I want it after previous so when I click after previous you see how the bar moves along so that's going to be my first flying option and there's my emphasis straight after I can choose a delay between them if I want here by selecting slight delay. You can see the time changes in between and if I come back but I don't want a delay so I'm going to select the first animation clip play from and there you go and you can see how you build it and how you work it. I'm going to highlight the last one I'm going to add I'm going to add my animation and I'm going to add a swivel that's not bad is it so I've got a swivel to come out and that's my third option but I don't want that happening all at once so I don't want that to happen so what I'm going to do with this is again I can choose whether or not I want to have it automatically with previous so it works the animation works the same time as the previous animation or after previous so I want after previous again you can see how that moves on so if I click on the first one and click play from there's the first one there's the second one and there's the third one so see how easy it is to plan and organise using these little timelines. Also, while I'm on the third one, you've got a little arrow here to the right. I'm going to select that. And again, you can start on click by clicking into the slide and it will start. I'll start with previous slide or start after previous slide. But I want you to select effect options. Now I can have a sound as well play when an animation takes place. So I might want a bomb. And we can change the volume there. Now, animation text, I might not want the whole sentence moved, I might just want a letter. So I'm just going to have a letter come in, in that animation. Let me show you, click OK. And there you go, it's more of a dramatic effect. 
Now click the arrow again and select effect options and then you can choose because I think that took a bit long so I'm going to do it 6 seconds click OK yeah that kind of works so that, that will be the exit for you from your animation you can change the order of these by going up and down depending on what order you want them so I could go the other way around and click play from and then you can see it will go to the second one and then the third one so another powerful option when you're creating your powerpoints so don't forget to select animation pane and that's how you set up multiple animations in one slide next option is just trigger you can set a special start condition for an animation for example with a certain shape is pressed or when a media playback reaches a bookmark by clicking on it then you can choose that by title 12 or com templates holder 13 in this case or if you've got bookmarks you can select the bookmark option and that will then trigger the animation for you so let's go down to the third slide and add a quick bit of animation to that shall we so I'm going to click into the title and I'm going to select an entrance I'm going to have a wipe happy with that but then again I'm going to go to effects option and I'm going to select from top that's better duration make it a bit longer so it makes it a bit more dramatic click preview that's better that's one bit of animation done I want to come down here and change my chart so I've got a bit of animation for this so I'm going to click drop down menu and go to emphasis now it does limit to me depending on what I'm actually doing so for this case I'm only allowed to do pulse T to spin, grow shrink and transparency so I'm going to do a spin well, that kind of works quite well and again I can come up here and choose a duration to spin now have a look at what I've built in my slide already both of these are going to go at the same time if I click play from so what I need to do is change it so I've got this on click again I want that to happen after previous slide but I also want that to occur I'm going to select that after previous as well so when you click this it does it after previous as you can see so now when I click play from there's a title and there's a chart spinning around and then I can carry on building up my my animation as I'm going along I want to show you quickly I'm going to come down here and select these options on motion paths that are really powerful but you might want a specific motion path so I'm going to select arc and you can see it moving about the title and you can see the arc here so what I want to do with this is I want to change the effect option on it so I want to go more left that's a bit better I can choose exactly how I want to edit that but I'm going to edit path and you can see when I click it it turns red I hold the left button and I can drag where I want that path to move I can choose where I want my header to go so I'm going to kind of mess about with this go a bit wild shall I there you go now I'm going to click preview and it goes exactly where I want that's it's not the best is it so I need to move that up a bit so I'm going to hold the left button drag that up so it finishes there click preview not bad so again that's using the options at the bottom of its motion path so you can do that with loops once you do that you can go to effect options then edit the paths then edit the points also you can reverse that so I click reverse if you leave that ticked if you leave that selected it will reverse that path for you as well really good option and you can also lock the origin or unlock it so you can edit it also if you come down the bottom you've got more entrance effects more emphasis effects and more exit effects or more motion paths so let me select more exit effects if you scroll down there you have a lot more to play with so you're not just limited to the ones you see so you can see how great you can make your powerpoints by adding animation as well as transitions before on a design and last of all you can move these if you want up and down by holding the left button dragging them into position or using the option up here you can move later or move earlier and when you click on the end I showed you effect options but you've also got timings so you can change the timings of the animation so remember I selected after previous at the top I could have a delay for that to execute duration I might want it to do 3 seconds and if I wanted to repeat I could have that repeat until click so it came on repeating and again I can even choose a trigger which could start when I click on a specific thing so in this case it could be the title and content 
that I've got in my PowerPoint. Click OK. And there you go. Powerful option. Definitely play around with that. It's not as difficult as people make out. Thanks for watching.